Okay, today we'll talk about the vertical structure of temperature in the atmosphere. So the atmosphere is partitioned in several layers, typically. So if I draw height in kilometers versus temperature in Celsius, the bottom 10 kilometers are called the troposphere. The term tropo comes from the Greek turning, and we'll talk about why this is the case in a little bit. From about 10 to 50 kilometers, we have the stratosphere, and this is linked etymologically to stratified, which means layered. And then up to around 90 kilometers, we have the mesosphere, meso meaning middle. And that's a little confusing because this is not actually the middle atmosphere. The middle atmosphere is typically regarded as the mesosphere and the stratosphere. And then the troposphere is the lower atmosphere. And above the mesosphere we have the thermosphere and that is regarded as the upper atmosphere. So what does the temperature profile look like in the different spheres? Sphere means just region. I'll start with 0 Celsius, 40 Celsius, minus 40, minus 80 spans most of the temperature range of the bottom 90 kilometers of the atmosphere. So in the troposphere, we have a steadily declining temperature, fairly linearly, from something above zero to just under minus 40 at about 10 kilometers. The lower stratosphere has a uniform temperature, and then temperature increases again, in the mesosphere, it decreases to its lowest point, and in the thermosphere, it increases again. Now, the only regions that are really of interest to us are sort of the lower stratosphere and the troposphere. These regions are relevant for Earth's energy budget or energy balance. The regions higher up have too low a density to really matter much in this context. 